Hello students, welcome to Rodin Tutorials. In this lecture, we will discuss about the conversion of Murray machine to Miller machine. In our previous videos, we have discussed about the introduction of Murray machine and Miller machine and also the problem based on Murray machine and Miller machine. The video link for this is given in the description box. Please check it. Now, the conversion of Murray machine to Miller machine. When we consider the Murray to Miller machine conversion, we require the formula lambda dash of q comma a equal to lambda of transition function q comma a. So this is useful for finding or calculating the new machine function. This lambda is nothing but a machine function or output function, whereas this transition function is represented by a delta. Obtain Miller machine from Murray machine. The Murray machine is given. We have to convert this Murray machine into Miller machine with the help of this formula. Murray machine is defined as Murray machine consisting of six tuples. First is capital Q, set of states. Set of input symbol is represented by summation. Next is transition function, initial state. Next is output symbol, and last is nothing but the machine function. Or this transition function is represented as whenever at any state any, sim any input symbol is occur, it goes to next state. For example, q0 state 1 is occur, it goes to q1. It goes to q1 that is nothing but next state. Next lambda is nothing but machine function or output function. It represented as for state output symbol is given. Suppose if we consider q as q0 for that output symbol is 0. Okay. If you consider the q1, output symbol is 1. If you consider q2, output symbol is 2. With the help of this, with the help of this diagram, we formulate the transition function. Suppose q0 state, q1 state, q2 state. Inputs are 0 and 1. q0 state 0 is over, it goes to q0. Q0 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q1. Q1 state 0 is occur, it goes to Q2. Q1 state 1 is occur, it goes to Q0. Q2 state 0 is occur, it goes to Q1. Q2 state 1 is occur, self Q is present. So this is the transition function. Now represent the lambda that is machine function. State is represented with the output. Suppose q0 state, q1 state, q2 state, q0 state output is 0, q1 state output is 1, q2 state output is 0. So this is the output function that we represented as lambda and this is nothing but transition function. This is nothing but transition. Now, with the help of formula, we convert this Mure machine to Miller machine. So, formula is lambda dash Q for that any input symbol is occur or state for that any input symbol is occur for that lambda transition function Q of A in bracket number A. Now, first state is Q0. Lambda dash of Q0 comma input symbol is 0. Input symbol is 0. We consider lambda of transition function Q is Q0 and A is nothing but 0. Equal to lambda of transition function Q0 state 0 is over. Q0 state 0 is over. It goes to Q0. It goes to Q0. And lambda of Q0 is lambda of q0 is 0. This is nothing but lambda dash q0 comma 0. Now this 0 is nothing but newly generated output. Now second is lambda dash q0 of 1. Lambda of transition function q0 for that input is 1. Lambda 
ट्रांजिशन ऑफ क्यू जीरो वन इज ऑफर क्यू जीरो स्टेट वन इज ऑफर इट गोज टू क्यू वन इट गोज टू क्यू वन क्यू वन स्टेट आउटपुट इज वन क्यू वन स्टेट आउटपुट इज वन नेक्स्ट लैमडा डैश क्यू वन जीरो इनपुट फॉर्मूला इज लैमडा ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन क्यू वन कॉमर्स जीरो Transition Q1 state zero is over. Q1 state zero is over. It goes to Q2, and for that lambda, lambda of Q2 is two. That is nothing but the output at this particular state. Now lambda dash of Q1 input is one equal to lambda of transition Q1 comma input symbol is one. Q1 state one is over. It goes to Q0. And at Q zero state, what is the lambda or the output at Q zero state? Output is zero. Q one state one is over. Q one state one is over. It goes to Q zero. And at Q zero state, output is zero. So that's why lambda of Q zero is zero. Now next is lambda dash of Q two input is zero. Lambda of transition. Q two state and input is zero. Q two state zero is over. It goes to Q one and at Q one state, what is the output? One equal to one. And last transition lambda dash of Q two one lambda of transition function Q two input is one. Q two state one is over. Self loop is present. That is Q two. And for that, Q two state output is two, so that's why here two is zero. So at Q zero state zero input one input completed, Q one state zero input one input completed, Q two state zero input one input completed. Now the new machine function or output function. When we consider the Miller machine, the lambda is represented as whenever at any state any input symbol is occur, it gives you the output. It gives you output. So lambda is represented likewise. Suppose Q zero state, Q one state, and Q two state. That three state we are having. At this state, any input is occur suppose zero or one, because we are having the summation or input symbols are zero or one. So Q zero state zero is occur. Q zero state zero is occur. Output is zero. Q zero state one is occur. Output is one. Next, Q one state zero is occur. Q one state zero is occur. Output is two. Q one state one is occur. Output is zero. Q two state zero is occur. Output is one. Q two state one is occur. Output is two. So this is the newly generated machine function, or we call it as the output function. With the help of this lambda, newly generated lambda, that is machine function, we draw the Miller machine. So Miller machine also consisting of three state Q zero, Q one, Q two. Suppose Q zero state. Here suppose Q one state. Here suppose Q two state. These three states are there. Q zero state zero is occur. Q zero state zero is occur self loop is present. Q zero state zero is occur self loop is present because transition function is as as it is. Transition function of Murray machine as well as Miller machine is same. Only change is present in output function or machine function. That is nothing but the lambda. So Q zero state zero is occur. It goes to Q zero. Okay. Q zero state one is occur it goes to Q one one is occur it goes to Q one Q zero Q one state zero is occur it goes to Q two zero is occur it goes to Q two Q one state one is occur it goes to Q zero one is occur it goes to Q zero Q two state zero is occur it goes to Q one Zero is over. It goes to Q one. Q two state one is over. It goes to Q two. That is self. One is over. It goes to Q two. 
Now, when we consider the Miele machine, the output is always represented with the help of input. Or output is represented with input. So input slash whatever symbol is present, that is nothing but the output for that state. So output already we have generated at Q0 state, 0 is occur, output is 0. Q0 state 0 is occur, output is 0. Means at Q0 state, output is 0. Q0 state 1 is occur, output is 1. Q0 state 1 is occur, output is 1. Q1 state 0 is occur, output is 2. Q1 state 0 is occur, output is 2. Q1 state 1 is occur, output is 0. Q1 state 1 is occur, output is 0. Q2 state 0 is occur, output is 1. Q2 state 0 is occur, output is 1. And last Q2 state 1 is occur, output is 2. Q2 state 1 is occur, output is 2. This is the final million machine. So states to convert the Murray machine to Miele machine, we require only this formula. With the help of this formula, we have done the calculation and convert our Murray machine to Miele machine. For that, transition function is as it is, only we need to generate a machine function or output function. So with the help of this formula, the machine function is calculated and finally we have convert the Murray machine to Miele machine. So this is the final Miele machine. I hope you understood this problem. Thank you.